hello welcome or welcome back thank you for clicking and spending time with me in today's video we are in the kitchen doing a good old deep clean we're not cleaning inside the cabinets or the pantry though because then this video would be way too long but that will be in a future video so make sure you're subscribed and turn on your bell notifications go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and share with your family and friends all right y'all we got some work to do there is a lot that needs to be done so let's get into it you know. in the white spray bottle is bleach and water and then you guys know about the dawn power wash the mixture in this cup is baking soda and vinegar for a while i've noticed that my backsplash looks a bit dingy or yellow but i wasn't exactly sure how to clean it i did try a multi-surface cleaner but that wasn't working so i went to youtube and i came across a product by ace i went to the store but the um, worker just recommended regular old bleach and water i am so happy i used the products that i did because the back Backsplash looks so good and came out like new. All the yellow and dingy look is gone and it only took about 30 to 40 minutes. Track season has started so on this night I had to pick up Dylan from practice. Before I left I did spray down the grate so they could sit for 30 minutes with the product. While I was out I picked up pizza because I was not cooking and I wanted the kids out of my way so I can get done what I needed to get done. Why I decided to do this on a work or school night I have no idea because this definitely was something that should have been done on a Sunday. Shoulder, 
Do y'all see that backsplash? It looks so clean and white, all sparkly. <laughs> y'all gotta try it and let me know how it works out for you. Using the spray away stainless steel cleaner and polish to wipe down the appliances the cloth I got from Marshall's one side the side with like has ridging is for scrubbing and the other side the smooth side is for buffing Oh, mm -hmm. 
like I'm riding solo You got me thinking about all of the problems in us I know it's sad, but we both know Maybe it's time that I let, let you If there is one thing that I dislike the most about cleaning, it's the oven. It takes forever to wipe the cleaning products off. I could have used a self cleaner, but honestly, I didn't want to wait the four hours because cleaning the kitchen was not going to take that long. <laughs> or so I thought. All that scrubbing I did and the oven still didn't come out as clean as I wanted so I will turn on the self cleaner mode and wipe it down off camera to finish up what I didn't or to get what I wasn't able to get. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down
So normally before I clean, I light a candle, but because I had to clean the backsplash and use the counter space, I'm now lighting these tea light candles. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can. I don't use a dishwasher to wash dishes, just dry them after I hand wash them. That's my preference. So the filter wasn't too bad. This is the before, and then in a few seconds, you'll see the after, after I rinsed off the filter. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want you close, I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering, you know I'd do anything to be in your arms again, so give me a sign, give me a sign, oh give me a sign, baby give me a sign, Give me one more, talking to you talking to Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign In this spray bottle is vinegar, Dawn dish soap, essential oil, and water I just wanna let you know I could go for this, no more tricks We could take things slow Say, you think about it too When the lights go out and there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control, you push me then you pull me back in Don't wanna take it slow Just wanna let you know Come and sit with me, or take a walk with me I need to speak to you, just wanna be with you Just let me take you for a ride Is there a chance that we could make another try? I think we meant to be, didn't wanna say goodbye If there's a chance, just tell me how Cause time is precious, time is now all right, y'all, it's goal check-in time. How are you doing with your goals that you set at the beginning of the year? Are you on track to meet your goals? Do you need a reset? I know for me, I need a reset in some areas, but not with all of them, not with all of my goals, only with the a few of them. So for the month of April, that's what I'll be focusing on, resetting on the things that I need to reset and just continuing to flourish on the things that I'm doing good on. Let me know in the comments, how's it going for you? Also, you guys, I want to tell you about this TV show I have like fell in love with. I don't even know how I came across it, but it's on the History Channel and it's called The Food That Built America. If you guys watched that or have seen it, let me know in the comments. It's really good. The first one I saw was, you know, how Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks got started. So that piqued my interest because 
I love Dunkin Donuts not a huge Starbucks fan but I do go there but Dunkin Donuts that's my jam so it was really interesting to see how everything got started and their little rivalry and then I watched the one about the Willy Wonka and the candy and it was it's, it's a really good show. So if you haven't watched it, I highly suggest that you watch it. It is on the History Channel. Okay, y'all. So let me just tell y'all about another episode that was really good. The episode, so we're talking about the show, The Food That Built America. So the episode about Heinz and like how Heinz got started, y'all, that man, I think his name was Henry Heinz. He was so ruthless. So back then, you know, there was no refrigeration for any of your food products. So for your meats, like they would the people would go out you know into the market area or whatever and get meat because they needed meat obviously for food but the meat was spoiled and so in an effort to mask the taste and the smell of the the spoiled meat they had like um celery catsup it was called catsup celery catsup mushroom catsup nut catsup so heinz created the tomato ketchup but guys he was so ruthless like in his state i believe it was pennsylvania don't quote me but in his state he bought all the bottles because his competitors were you know coming after him trying to you know ramp up his uh, get his little business or whatever so he bought all the bottles in his um in his state he used the bottles that he could use because back then in order to mask that the food was not proper or the food was not good for consumption they use green glass bottles or brown glass bottles so he decided to use clear bottles so people could see um the food that they were like the ketchup or the sauces that they were getting so he bought all the, all the bottles in his state he used the bottles that he could the other bottles in order for his competitors not to have you know bottles to store their product guys he put the bottles on a boat and he sunk the boat <laughs> so <laughs> he literally sunk the competition like it was so crazy you have to watch that show all right back to the video right here i'm looking to make sure i got all the crumbs and that the counter is clean
wanna get it right with you But if we try to talk about it Our history says we'll just argue And I know you're gonna act a fool And then no one could tell the difference Between me and you, babe, watching from a distance Hide any feelings Going through changes Mad, but now it's at my own expense First of all, I don't know where I got all this energy from. I literally have been in this kitchen since I got off work. I think I got, I think I started about 4.30, a little after 4.30. I only took a break to get Dylan. I'm so tired, but behind this stove, let me show y'all. do all that cleaning and don't clean behind the stove in the refrigerator it's okay what time is it it's 10 20. i want it to be done by nine so maybe i'll be in bed by 11 because i still have to shower so all right let me stop talking <laughs> and i keep having to charge my phone because my phone is on six percent so like it just went dark it's on five percent so i've been trying to put it on a tripod next to the outlet so it can charge so let me let me do that. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Step away till you hear what I'm saying Sounds like thunder And the clouds are closing in You see, I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed Losing focus Breaking up from our life as we know it If someone had told me That I will take off
the back eye flame was fanning like too wide the flame wasn't even so i had to fix it you should know i'm not the one if you trust me with your feelings i will make you wanna run only you all right guys we are almost to the end i'm just gonna go ahead and finish mopping and then show an end shot thank you so much for clicking and spending time with me if you're still watching go ahead and leave me a cleaning emoji please give this video a thumbs up and share i'll see y'all next sunday for some fun new and a highly requested spring and easter school lunch ideas like guys this is going to be a good one that you don't want to miss so if you're not already subscribed please consider hitting that red button and turn on your bell notifications bye all right y'all it is 11 16 so i'm getting ready to go to bed